Hello and welcome to the Real Deal Recipe Reviews. Today we're making caramel apple cheesecake from George Geary's book, The Cheesecake Bible, 2nd Edition. In the recipe description, Mr. Geary says that caramel apples always reminds him of autumn, but this flavor combination is perfect any time of year. Be sure to stick around to the end of the video to see how it turned out and to see my full review.
When I was flipping through the book, The Cheesecake Bible, this caramel apple cheesecake immediately caught my attention and I knew I wanted to make it. It sounded wonderful and unique with the caramel under the filling instead of on top. Unfortunately, I was very disappointed with the outcome. To begin with, I think it has way too many pecans in the bottom. It overpowers all the other flavors and makes it feel like you're eating a pecan cheesecake instead of a caramel apple one. Also, I didn't like using soft caramels that were cut up and then sprinkled over the crust because I don't think it melts evenly enough and when it combines with the one cup of chopped pecans, it gives the crust a hard texture. Next, the directions say to use a large apple peeled and cut into 12 slices, one under the filling and one on top. Well, when you do that, it's hard to have even slices because all apples are different sizes. I think it would be better to say to cut the apples into thin slices. I also think it's overkill to add even more pecans on top because the flavors of the caramel and apple get lost. This wasn't a bad tasting cheesecake, it just didn't taste like caramel apple. Overall, I give this two stars because the flavors were off and the crust was hard because of the combination of the pecans and caramels.